In this video, we're going to talk about the NECA 8 inch retro cloth Pennywise from the movie It. Welcome to the Swear Wolves Horror Podcast YouTube channel. I'm Brett. If you're a returning subscriber, I just want to thank you for coming back. And if you're new to this channel, thanks for stopping by. Please consider clicking the subscribe button as well as that notification bell below. We upload videos on a regular basis in which we review anything and everything horror from action figures and toys to soundtracks, various collectibles, video games, you name it. Today, we're talking about this 8-inch retro cloth from NECA. Uh, this is Pennywise from the 2017 uh, theatrical movie of It. Uh, I grew up with the 1990 made-for-TV movie of It, but I was really excited when uh, this movie came out. I am partial to the Tim Curry version, although I think this version of Pennywise is a good one nonetheless. Uh, let's take a look at the packaging real quick before we open it up. There's Pennywise, got a balloon, and an alternate head right there. And we see the little shadow of Pennywise. We got Georgie right there holding the balloon, Pennywise looming over. And then of course it says it right there on the side, it and Pennywise. And here's the back. Seven young outcasts band together to battle an ancient shape-shifting evil that emerges every 27 years to prey on their town's children. Pretty cool. And then there's the figure in all of its glory. The other side is just more of the same which was on this side there's the top but enough about the packaging let's open this figure up and see what it's like give it a review all right we got the figure open before we get to the figure itself let's talk about the accessories that it came with it came with this alternate hand which is attached to a balloon just a plastic balloon on this wire form string with this alternate hand I do like that I, I've had trouble with some of the Pennywise I've had in the past, notably the Toonie Terrors of getting the string to stay in the fingers and not slide all the way down. But, and there it goes, it's sliding down. But this already comes threaded into the, the fingers like this, which I do like, just like that. And uh, we'll put this on him in just a little bit to see how he looks holding the balloon. But uh, nice little alternate hand sculpt right there. We also have an alternate head that came with this figure. This is the very evil, menacing. You can see his teeth, Pennywise. Great detail in the sculpt of this head. Uh, you have the forehead, which has all those ridges in it. The brows kind of furrowed in an angry look. The eyes, those eyes are pretty scary and then of course that grotesque mouth the hair nice sculpted hair and this head would just pop right on in place of the head that came with them so a really good sculpt on this alternate head i do like it let's talk about pennywise himself uh, let's go over articulation first much like all the eight inch figures left right up down and tilts from side to side got a shoulder ball joint, move the arm like that at the shoulder. We can bend at the elbow and then of course turn at the forearm and then the wrist also turns. Does a swivel at the waist, bend at the hips and then he's got that ball joint in his hip. You can move the leg out and then you can bend at the knee and then we have the twist at the ankle and the foot goes up and down left to right at the ankle as well. So pretty good figure. Um, I like the way it looks right out of the package. Um, like I said, I'm more partial to the Pennywise that was popularized by Tim Curry in the 1990 made for TV movie, uh, which I did a review on that. So you can go ahead and check that out. But this figure is just a really good looking figure. I like the soft goods. Uh, clothes that it came with. Uh, I do love the face sculpt on this. This is a really good face sculpt right here. 
really highly detailed just like the other alternate head you can see all the detail on the forehead the eyes and that scary smile he's got there and then of course the hair being sculpted on the hands here kind of like a grabbing motion with that hand as well as that hand the feet just got these little shoes with the little what are those called i mean they're like balls fluff balls pom-poms maybe or palms on the toes of the feet there it's pretty cool the outfit like i said the cloth goods um i like the ruffles the pleats and all of this it's just a really well put together figure not my favorite version of pennywise but a definite scary menacing clown that uh you know, it, the movie, I, I really did like the movie, don't get me wrong. It's uh, far superior to that of the 1990 made for TV movie. But the clown uh, in that one just scared me a little bit more, Tim Curry's version. But this is really good. I really like this. So if I was going to rate this, oh, here's the backside also. If I was going to rate this figure, I'd probably give it... Five out of five Pamela Voorhees heads. I mean, it's a really good representation of Pennywise. Um, it does stand on its own pretty okay. I'm on a tough time balancing it right now, but there you go. Um, but five out of five for that. Why don't we go ahead and put that alternate hand on, and uh, we'll see what he looks like holding the balloon. All right, so there's Pennywise with the balloon, and I do like this look. I like having the balloon in his hand and that particular head sculpt on this figure. I was having a tough time getting the balloon to stay, so I did have to put, you can see there's a slight bend right there. Put a little crimp in there so that way it doesn't slide down. But other than that, I think this is a really great way to display the figure. And if you like this video, please click the button below. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed and you feel so inclined, click both the subscribe button as well as that notification bell. We are the Swear Wolves Horror Podcast and we do a weekly show in which we review horror movies. So please check us out by searching for The Swearwolves wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. You can also visit our website at theswearwolves.com. So for The Swearwolves, I'm Brett. Hi, this is Brett with the Swear Wolves. When I'm not editing videos or creating content for YouTube, I just sit here and wait and wait. If you like the video that you just saw, go ahead and click that button right there. And if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and click that other button right there. I'll wait.